In this tutorial, I will be demonstrating how to use TreeGen for populating your Rhino files with parametric trees. The documentation for this software is hosted at this web address, and the software is capable of creating all sorts of great tree variation for spicing up your CAD designs. To get started with this software, I recommend beginning with the deciduous tree generator, which can be downloaded here. First, it is best to familiarize yourself with these examples of how different parameters affect the look of the tree, and also to read about the different inputs and outputs of the functions defined by this generator, which are here. Next, you'll want to open the file, and if your computer does not know to open it with Rhino, right-click on the Grasshopper file and select Open with Rhino. After your Rhino viewport loads, a Grasshopper viewport should begin to load. If you're not familiar with Grasshopper, this is a plugin which allows for MetaCAD or parametric design um, and it builds off of Rhino. Don't worry because you don't need much Grasshopper understanding to be able to interface with this tree generator. So first off, if you have any questions about any of these inputs and you don't want to look at the in-depth explanation on the website, you can simply type the number of the input or output into this help uh, input. For instance, if I type zero, double click on the canvas and type zero, then I will get this number slider, which I can plug into the help input. And now, as you can see, the help output contains this handy explanation of what that input parameter does. As you can see, the input branch density determines the number of branches per unit of surface area on the canopy. Next, if you would like to adjust any of these input parameters, know that all you need to do is double click on the canvas and type slash slash, and then for instance, 0 0.1. This is a quick way of creating a value that you would like to input into one of these parameters. As you can see, the tree updates to reflect what we have just done. And this second function over here is for generating foliage. As you can see here, I can scroll through foliage type and so much more. Have fun with this tree generator. And if you want, you have complete access to edit these functions that I have created and add your own bits of design. Thank you for watching and please enjoy TreeGen. Thank you.